my perfect classic pork belly is this one. Slow roasted, one day pork. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to serve it with some mustard mash mm -hmm. and some red cabbage. Very nice. A little bit of apple jam as well. All right, that sounds... One day? One day. Really? Tiresome. Is that necessary? Definitely. Does that make it perfect? Everything's perfect about this piece of pork. Right, OK, well, I've got my piece of pork and I'm going to do my slow roast pork belly. It only takes about three hours, OK, which might sound a bit, like, a bit rushed raw. to you. It's more raw. OK, nice and slow in the oven. I'm going to marinate it. I'm going to serve mine with a um, celeriac and apple dauphinoise, a little bit of watercress and some gerolles. Perfect. Right, so first things first, I'm going to crush down some garlic. We're going to marinate it up for a while. Uh, a couple of hours would be nice. Is that a, any particular breed of pork that you're using? Anything well, that I you mean, like? to be honest, I mean, locally, to me in Wales, we get a lot of old spots. Mm -hmm. um, we get Tamworth. You no. prefer rare breed? I, I do, to be honest. I mean, it sounds quite sort of snobbish, but it's, I think they're, they're just... It's, it's not at all. The breed it's, and it's perfect. Matt pounds the garlic in a pestle and mortar, then adds some oregano and gives it a good bash. OK, a few bay leaves in bay there. Leaves. I love bay leaves, I love the smell of those. Let's tear those up, get those in there. Why are you marinating your pork? Just because I like that flavour. It's going to pick up that flavour underneath. You think it'll permeate through that armour plating at the top? Well, all underneath, I'm going to smear it all yeah, underneath. Yeah, yeah, a little okay. bit on the top. Yeah. Right, let's get some oil in there as well. Very good. Matt smears the pork with the marinade and really works it in to permeate the meat. Yours is boneless. So it is boneless. Um, well, to be honest, to cook it on the bone is, is just as nice. This works just as well, and it's, it's a gentle cook. OK, so then I'm going to leave that. Leave that to marinate up for, well, as long as you like, really, but a couple of hours mm. would be ideal. Stick it in the fridge, and then after that time, here we got this piggy belly, which has been done. OK, so there's lots and lots of... Smell that. There's lots and lots of flavour in that. Smell that. Nice, okay. good. And it's right. out of the fridge just to um, to bring it up to room temperature because I don't want it to be sort of cold in the middle. Still no scoring. I don't see the point of scoring. You know, it looks very pretty on your Sunday roast, but um, but this will just all sort of blister and what have you. Anyway, Beautiful. so into that I'm going to stick some just some water. Now that's going to obviously help steam it, keep it and nice and moist moisture, underneath. Yeah. Um, and it's on this trivet just so it doesn't sort of you know, catch on the bottom. And then that's also going to, all the fat that's going to come off, it's going to um, stop it filling the oven with smoke, really. Right, so I'm going to bung that in at about sort of 220, so nice and high to sort of give it a start. With Matt's pork belly safely in the oven, it's time for Johnny to get going with his. With my pork belly, I'm leaving as is. Mine's on the bone. Mm. Uh, it is, you know, For further reason? down. It, definitely, definitely, when you're cooking large pieces of meat, moisture in the meat, mm. definitely cook it on the bone all the time. All I need to do is literally just a little bit of oil. The only reason why the oil is going on there is to hold the seasoning into place. Sure. So a little bit of oil, turn mm -hmm. it over on the other side, a little bit of oil on the underside. And you, you're not scoring your skin either? I don't score at all either. And if you have a look at the the fat and the beautiful meat and all the rest, this is really quite lean. If we score that, if we stick our knife into it, the fat is the softest part, and so that will render down first. Mm. So, therefore, the fat will come back onto the skin. It does... It, it still could be crispy, mm. but, to me, the perfect pork is all about temperatures. It's going to be cooked for anything up to 24 hours. Right. So, you know, it's... By the time all the... See, I'm intrigued by this. I mean, do, is that not too long? I'm cooking mine for so much longer, but at a really low temperature. Right. I'm starting off really high. I'm starting mine at 250. Yeah. And then every 45 minutes, I turn it down by 50 degrees till I get to about 100. And I generally turn it around in the oven as well. If you imagine, I turn it around 180 degrees, so I've got right. a nice even coating okay. on the pork okay. belly as well. Johnny salts the pork belly, and it goes into a very hot oven. Then he makes a start on his vegetables. My first accompaniment is um, a lovely slow-cooked red cabbage, mm -hmm. Bra almost braised red cabbage, but I want some nice aromatics in there, and I want to finish with a, a nice little fruity tang. So I love sultanas, raised. to rehydrate them, I use some fruit tea, a nice herbal tea, okay. ginger, lemon, blackcurrant, whatever you want, really beautiful. Hot water goes on. It's and just cool, leave it? that to infuse. And then all I need to do next is finely shred the red cabbage. When using a mandolin at home, be sure to use the guard to protect your fingers. Johnny slices the red cabbage very thinly, then pops it into a bowl and adds some balsamic vinegar. Lovely sweetness from the treacle. He gives it all a good stir and turns his attention to the spices. 
Johnny cracks the cardamom pods and adds them along with the star anise and cinnamon stick to hot oil in a pan. So that can go in, should be nice and hot. You should hear a, a sizzle. Once that's in, in goes the water. Allow it to come up to the boil. Johnny's cabbage needs to cook for around 45 minutes, so it's time for Matt to check on his pork belly. Well, that lemon's just going to cut through that skin and just help it to crisp. And that's it. We'll turn that down another two hours and, uh, and give it a final blast. We're done. Johnny and Matt have taken very different routes for cooking their perfect pork belly. Will the judges prefer Matt's three-hour roast or Johnny's that takes a whole day in the oven?